Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to this video. So today I'm just going to be showing you a few of my favorite things that I have been obsessed with, like buying, wearing, stuff like that for this summer slash going on to fall. So yeah, let's just get started. All right, so the first thing I wanted to show you was actually this t-shirt. Show you, give you a better look. So it's just this white t-shirt with this design on it. And it was actually made by one of my good friends, Arthur Dickinson. I'll put like his Instagram handle somewhere. And yeah, he designed this shirt, had it sent somewhere, like they printed it and like I got it and it's just super cute. And I think he is an amazing artist, so I'm obsessed with it. Um, it is a size small. I feel like an extra small would have fit me better, but I do think it looks really cute tucked in or tied into a knot because the pattern just like keeps on going like past where my shorts are so yeah it just looks really cute tucked in so i love this shirt and it was also printed by everpress so if you guys know who what everpress is it's a website that prints out t-shirts for artists so i think that that's a pretty good pretty cool site if you want to do something like that all right so sticking with the flower theme i got this new plant it is in this little very cute flamingo pot and you know the plant's pink so it matches and the sign said it was a succulent and like it feels like a succulent but i've never seen a succulent with flowers before so this is kind of new to me um it's just so cute and i love it and it's from qfc and it was like ten dollars so i thought that was like amazing with the pot like that's crazy right so yeah it's super cute and i love it all right so i also got another succulent this one is also very cute and it was growing in the towards the sunlight for a little bit so like that's why it's like moving this way but i think i'm gonna like change it so it moves that way again but yeah it is in this gorgeous elephant pot like seriously it is so cute with a little elephant butt and what really drew me to like this plant specifically is that it was it's literally fuzzy like you can see like all the little hairs on it it's soft and it's fuzzy like that's super crazy to me and i just thought it was super cute so I got this from Seattle Flowers and he the, there was the nicest like the owner is like the nicest person his name's Bill and like he even repotted the pot like he repotted it for me like that's just crazy in of itself like I thought that was like so nice for like a plant store to do that so that was yeah so that was pretty cool um pot was about $14 and the plant was about $7 so about $20 for like one plant but I thought it's just so cute like I had to have it so so I guess I've been talking a lot about like supporting small businesses and stuff, but this is another thing that I am obsessed with. It's so cute. So it's this little, like it's miniature clay flower. Like it's made out of clay, it's handmade. It's super crazy. I got this at Pike's Place Market in Seattle and I just can't believe this is handmade. It was only $8, like, yeah, I just thought that was so crazy. And I just like love supporting small businesses so i just like had to have it and it's so cute and looks so good next to my desk and i just think it's so pretty like literally and it's so detailed look it has the little yellow inside and look it's like the petals are even variegated like that's just crazy to me and for eight dollars i thought that was such a steal and i just think it's just so cute and i love it all right so this is not me trying to be a visco girl or anything but i am obsessed with scrunchies lately like it's kind of sad that it's a visco girl thing like now i'm like oh you're just trying to be a visco girl no i'm not i've been obsessed with scrunchies forever but here they are my favorite scrunchies are coincidentally all pink um i really like this one and it has like a tiny bow this one has a giant bow a lot of these are from ebay so they were just super cheap and then i really like this one because it matches my purse and you know i wore this shirt with um, black shorts and I really want to wear my pink purse but like you know it would really match this outfit so I just threw this on as a bracelet and suddenly it matches because it's the perfect shade of pink to match my purse like that's super crazy to me so yeah and then I really like this one because it's like long and looks good with a high ponytail and then I have this blue one that I don't wear as much and this other blue one that I don't wear as much because I'm obsessed with pink right now for some reason and I think I'll always be obsessed with pink like in a low-key kind of fashion but like right now it's more prominent than other days all right so this next thing is something that like I've actually been collecting for a long time now but I have not put it in like a specific spot so it is 
a little penny passport. So this is where I put all my pressed pennies. I've done a lot of traveling. Um, I went on like this like road trip cross country. So I got a lot of pressed pennies and they were just sitting in like this like little plastic Ziploc bag. Like that's not fun, right? And I just found out that there's a pressed penny passport. So you open it up and these are all my pressed pennies. You know, I have some from Mount Rushmore, Chicago, Seattle Aquarium, like things in LA and just like a bunch of random stuff. I think I might like go through all of the ones I have in a video or something. So that I think that would be pretty cool. And I really like this. And also has, it also has um, a little spot for quarters. And I'm not sure what kind of quarters I would put there, but it has a quarter option if I wanted to put a quarter there. So that's pretty cool. And I just think this is a great way to just store your pressed pennies instead of keeping them in a Ziploc bag. So that's pretty awesome. All right, so this is the last thing I want to show you. It wouldn't be a favorites video if I wouldn't, if I didn't really show you what I've truly been obsessed with. And obviously it's my Louis Vuitton wallet and purse. So if you haven't seen my Louis Vuitton unboxing, I got this as a birthday gift and I bought this one with my own money and I am just completely obsessed with them, been using it all the time, neglecting that little pink purse like right there. Um, uh, but I don't know, I just, I love it. It's just so cute and I've just been obsessed with it. And this was, let me find the scrunchie. Yeah, it perfectly matches. So yeah, I've just been obsessed with pink and I think now that I have this purse, I must be obsessed with pink forever or else that would be a big waste of money for my parents and me since I bought the matching wallet. But I just, I don't think I'm ever gonna like get over how great these items are. So yeah, those are my favorites right now. So yeah, I'm just obsessed. Okay, all right guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my little favorites and current things that I've been obsessed with. So yeah, I guess that's the same thing as a favorite. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe, like, comment your favorites for this season and stuff. And yeah, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.